Hi everyone, in this video we will go through few important topics on which we need to put more focus so that it will help us in our preparation and getting better score. Please make a note that the prompts given here are just for illustration. We will start from party because we will have to look at prompts which can give us high marks. Keep a close focus on party and part D because this is where you get maximum marks. Now in party we have progressions, trigonometry, linear functions, straight lines, logarithms and annuity. In progressions, we can put more focus or more practice into this particular problem type. Finding the sum to n terms of series. That is, you can have series like this, right? Any series. And there could be another type of problem where AP and GP both are given. We'll have to find the numbers using the AP and GP. Next one is linear functions. Again, this is four marker. Here, we'll have questions like, you know, we'll have to figure out cost function, revenue function, profit function, break-even level of output. These are actually direct, straightforward problems. And there could be problems where you'll have to find the cost equation and get the cost of the product, be it watches or books or whatever. Again, this is a four marker question. Let's focus on linear functions as well. So here are some examples of uh, linear function uh, problems. You may want to practice all of these problems for better preparation. The third topic is straight lines. Here we'll have to prepare for problems related to finding equation of a line. This is one kind of problem that we'll have to prepare for. And also another type would be equation of lines would be given and they would be stated as concurrent, we'll have to find k. Now logarithms, this is a two marker question here. We'll have to find the number of digits in the integral part of this particular number, 3 to the power 20. Similarly, we'll have to find the number of zeros between decimal and the first significant figure. So again, this is just examples, but you can look at all two marker problems in logarithmic chapter and prepare them. Another two marker would be annuity. Annuity would be straightforward uh, questions. You'll have to find the present value of annuity given the amount and time frame and rate of interest. These are few examples of annuity related questions. If you are thorough with progressions, linear functions, straight lines and logarithms or annuity, you can easily score 10 marks in part D. Now let's look at part D, C and B. Again, part D should be given a lot of uh, priority and importance because they are five marker questions. If you can get 15 marks out of this 45 marks, that is if you get three questions right out of nine, we'll get 15 marks, which is a big number, right? It's a big uh, scorer. The main focus should be on these chapters. Of course, all the chapters are very important, but these chapters carry high marks. And if you look at uh, theory of equations and linear inequalities, these are simple chapters and easy scorer. Similarly, theory of indices as well. If you can focus more on two marker, three marker, Theory of indices is going to be an easy scorer. Sets, of course. Sets is an easy one. Annuity, averages, all these are simpler ones. But focus has to be put on progressions, logarithms. Especially in logarithms, problems could be lengthy. But this is an important chapter in terms of scoring high marks. So in part D, we have sets. In sets, we could get uh, prompts where, you know, we'll have to find intersection, union. You have different kind of prompts. Different examples are given here. These are only examples. Just to tell you what kind of problem types we need to focus more on. For example, you have 500 students, 300 take milk and 250 take tea. So you'll have to find how many take both, how many take only milk, how many take only tea. Similarly, here you have magazine related problems. Some read uh, magazine B and C, some read magazine A. So you'll have to find out how many read all three magazines or how many read only one magazine. Then again, there is a problem related to games. How many play cricket only? How many play football? How many play both? Similarly, here, basketball and volleyball. So these kind of problems you'll have to solve using intersection and union concepts. Again, from sets in part C, we'll get a three marker where sets are given. You'll have to prove such kind of statements. So you take this left hand side, find uh, the set, take right hand side, find the set, ensure that sets obtained from left hand side is same as sets obtained in the right hand side. So such kind of uh, problems we should be able to solve. Then logarithms, right? As I said, an important chapter. So this is a frequently occurred uh, question in the previous uh, question papers. You have multiplication and you have division. Using log tables, we'll have to solve these problems. So this is a five marker. If you can practice this very well, this is a really easy scorer. Then there are problems where you'll have to prove left-hand side is equal to right-hand side like this. You'll have to prove this. Theory of equations. This is a simple chapter. Synthetic division. Very frequently occurring question. This is an easy one. You should be able to obtain the roots given this cubic equation. Very easy one. I have prepared a one-shot video for this. For theory of equations, you can go through that. There are other problems also in the three marker list, right? Where you'll have to find age of the son, age of the mother, age of the father. All age related problems are there. And then there are digit and number related problems like this. 
this is again a very simple one the equation is given you'll have to find the roots of the equation using the relationship uh, formula between the roots and coefficients we try to practice this well but this is a very easy one again this one sum of two consecutive numbers is given find the numbers yet another problem where you need to find the quotient and remainder when this particular polynomial equation is given one of the root is already given x plus 4 so you'll have to find the quotient and remainder using synthetic division these problems are less prone to mistakes progressions these are typical uh, kind of problems uh, we see in the previous question papers we'll have to find the sum of all numbers between uh, you know one number to another number which are divisible by some number right these kind of problems then you'll have to find ap you'll have to find gp right then you'll have to insert or find four arithmetic means or geometric means right you'll have to insert geometric means between two numbers and then given uh, numbers you'll have to find ap and gp so these kind of problems we will have to prepare next one is coordinate system in a plane here you have five marker and three marker here you have different kinds of problems but the concept is same the steps are same some points would be given you'll have to prove they are vertices of a square or vertices of a rectangle vertices of a right angle vertices of rhombus vertices of triangle vertices of quadrilateral if it is a square you will have to ensure that all the sides and the diagonals are equal right if it is rectangle you have to ensure that opposite sides are equal with the good practice this should be a easy scorer in addition to verifying that these are the vertices we may also need to find the area area of quadrilateral or area of square area of triangle so we'll have to remember those specific formulas linear inequalities very very simple one like i said earlier you just have to draw the graph right just make x is equal to 0 or y is equal to 0 plot the graph and shade the common region also prepare for problems where you have to represent the solutions on the number line there is a one shot uh, video for this entire chapter linear inequalities you can refer that now there are other problems also such as finding lcm using factorization finding hcf right problems related to hcf that is finding greatest integer that divides certain set of numbers finding average then uh, problems related to theory of indices right two markers you can focus on two marker and one marker of theory of indices you have problems like this you can focus on these kind of problems just look at all two marker problems from other chapters focus more on them now roughly right from party we should be able to get 10 marks completely we should be able to crack party then from part a we have 21 uh, markers we should be able to get 15 that should be our goal and then from part d right we should be scoring 15 marks at least right at least three questions should be answered correctly if you can achieve this easily 50 marks can be scored from theory of equations chapter 14 marks of questions will come right so at least nine we should be able to get nine marks from progressions again 13 marks right again we should be able to at least get nine from linear inequalities five marks we should be able to get five out of five logarithms 11 you get totally 11 uh, marker questions at least three we should be able to target three marks at least this is very less right sets 12 marker try to get nine marks from this 12 marker and then one marker mcq and uh, short answers 14 to 20 for sure we'll have to put so much of effort that we can be sure of getting 14 to 15 marks out of 20 with enough effort and practice we should be able to get minimum of 50 marks just don't focus on 35 marks and study only for 35 no at least study for 50 to 60 marks if you want to pass the exam so with this we have come to the end of this particular uh, topic if you have found this video useful do press a like and share it thank you